you see now how useful logic is. It is man's method of gaining knowledge, which is, again, his means of survival, and is therefore that of most fundamental importance in human life. Man is not an instinctual creature. Instincts are a form of knowledge that are hardwired into animals and therefore guide them automatically and unerringly. Man is a conceptual being who gains and uses knowledge only by a volitional cognitive effort. And it is because one must exercise his power of choice, exert a specific effort of will to initiate and sustain a process of thought that many don't do it. They apparently find the effort involved too much or not to their liking. Having been brought up in an anti-rational culture, many are not taught to value logic and thus never achieve intellectual self-sufficiency, i.e. the ability to think rationally and to judge independently. They have uncritically accepted faith as a means of knowledge. And faith is the antithesis of reason. It is the blind acceptance of ideas for which there is no rational proof or sensory evidence. And they were taught to judge not, or the secular version, to keep an open mind. The idea that one should not judge or that he should keep an open mind is very dangerous. It is used to keep people confused by suggesting it is a virtue to grant plausibility to anything. Obviously, not everything can be true. Instead, one should cultivate an active mind, one that treats ideas critically, seeking to distinguish truth from falsehood. The approach of most bodybuilders to training from the start amounts to little more than a blind leap into the dark. Throughout life, we all encounter innumerable theories from religion to philosophy, to politics, to the healing arts, nutrition and bodybuilding science. And because so few in our culture were taught to think rationally or to judge critically, most are left disconcertingly confused when confronted with the necessity of making intellectual choices, such as which training theory to employ. I realized that I was like this when I reached my late teens. Most symptomatic was my notion that if something was printed, it had to be true. I learned later that my notion was illogical, of course. Not every idea can be true since so many of them conflict with and contradict other ideas. It was Arthur Jones who divested me of this bit of ragtag illogic when he barked, Mike, just because something is printed doesn't mean it's true. In fact, 90% of what is printed on all subjects is outright hogwash. And now, some 25 years, considerable thought, study, and experience later, I realized Mr. Jones was being charitable. It's more like 98% of what is printed on most subjects is garbage. Understanding this is an important first step in developing one's critical ability.